it's it's kind of sad to say, you know, it's, you ever seen that movie, The Skeleton Key? Right with metaphor. I don't think anyone ever remembers it. I never saw it myself, but there is one part from it that always stuck with me. And that the whole notion was that the, the, the voodoo or whatever only had power if you believed in it. The monster could only hurt you if you believed the monster could hurt you. And that's kind of what it is with self-doubt. That's kind of what it is with, like, you know, with the whole self-consciousness thing. The whole, like, you know, feeling undateable, unlikable. If you think it, it becomes it. But if you don't think it, like, you know, people are just kind of naturally drawn to someone who doesn't give a fuck. And not in, like, that bad way of, like, ha-ha, I hurt your feelings, but I don't give a fuck, ah. But no, but just in the way of, like, you know, I'm going to be unselfconsciously myself. And, you know, there's a kind of uh, admiration for that. Everyone wants to just be unabashedly, authentically themselves to some degree, right? And if you're feeling like that, you're probably going to be happy with yourself. And if you're feeling happy with yourself, you know, you're probably going to be content with your life. And so you're not going to be drawn to something like, okay, Cupid. Okay, there's something, okay, that being said, some people, you know, that being said, I'm sure, you know, people come to a point in their lives where like, you know, I'm doing good, but I'd like someone to share this with, right? And that impulse can either be like crushing and debilitating, or that can just be like, you know, something that would be nice, but not like this omnipresent focus in your mind, <laughs> right? If you can get to that point in your life where you're like, you know, I'd like someone to share this with, um, you know, or hell, it doesn't even have to be something like serious like that. If you just want to like hook up and you're not like obsessed with hooking up, like great, awesome. But you know, if you're feeling like super lonely and you feel like you gotta like crush this demon because it's fucking with your life, like it'll just, yeah. Sadly, trying to solve that problem just exacerbates it. Walk away. <laughs> you, 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 you can only succeed if you just don't give a fuck. And not like in the bad way, but in like, you know, this. It's about not taking it too seriously, right? <laughs> it's about not ta it's about not taking it too seriously. Look, online dating can only be successful if you're just doing it for fun. If you're doing it because of serious business, it's like, no nah, man, it's just gonna make it worse. Just walk away. Anyways, that's the problem for me for online dating. I always turn there when I'm feeling lonely and shit. And uh, yeah, that's not good, right? But I'm never gonna get around to it if I'm ever feeling any other kind of way about myself. So, yeah, I don't know. I hope I just walk into somebody. <laughs> what do you guys think? Have y'all had success with online dating? Do y'all enjoy it? Does anyone enjoy it? I'm personally, uh, from my own experience of just having people, it seems like a miserable cesspit. You know, kind of like 4chan, but like, people have pictures of themselves. Just this asshole of the internet. This is rancid, dark asshole of the internet. But I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, what do you guys think? Have y'all had success with online dating? Did y'all actually, like, enjoy it? I hope you did. You know, I want people to live your lives. You know, if it works for you, man, fuck yeah, do your thing. Right on, dude. Uh, not for me so much. Uh, anyways, tell me about your experiences. Like, subscribe, to, like, keep chilling with me and talking about shit. And, um, oh, you can check out last week's video, yesterday's video, last video, the thing that happened in the previous time period before this one, uh, ignoring the gap in between, if there is such a gap. Makes sense in my mind. Look, some thoughts are better expressed with diagrams, like mathematical formulas, right? You ever try to explain a mathematical formula with your words? It's just like, uh, like, what are you doing? No. Word problems? The fuck are those? I just write it down in the formula. <laughs> We're going on a tangent in this uh, side box. Point is, talk to me. Keep talking to me. I love you. You're beautiful. Stay beautiful. Unless you don't feel like it. You know, just fucking do your thing. You know, have that internal beauty. You know, have that... Look, all I'm saying is, well, buddy, like... I'm looking at your allspark, and it glows brilliantly. Keep allsparking. I don't even watch Transformers. What the fuck am I talking about? It sounds nice.